and a special kind of love. Can I have a kiss? People and parents. This is the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric. Good evening. Katie will be along in just a moment from Emily tonight. After Dom DeLuise died this week, his family asked that donations be made to a parrot rescue agency. If you're like most of us, you didn't know parrots needed rescuing, but DeLuise, a parrot lover, did. Because while Americans buy thousands of parrots every year, Bill Whitaker tells us many wind up abandoned. It's okay. Mira Tweedy and Zazu, it's her okay. pet parrot, are inseparable. Can I have a kiss? Not because Tweedy, yes, yes her real name, it's wants it that way, but because Zazu demands it. With a parrot, there's only one place for everything in your home, and that is on the floor. He's a huge amount of work. Parrots are beautiful. They can talk. Do tricks. But the average parrot has the intelligence of a three to five year old child. With an estimated 40 million parrots in U.S. households, they're not far behind cats and dogs in popularity. But owners soon learn that Polly wants a cracker, plus hand prepared food, plus all your time, attention, and patience. Tweety should know. She wrote a book on the difficult relations between parrots and people. They can live to 80. 80 yeah. years? They're loud, they poop incessantly, they love to chew, and what you've got is a three-year-old child running around with a can opener on its face. And like a toddler, if they don't get the care and attention they need, they bite and... <coughs> scream. Or even worse, isolated in a cage, these flock animals go stir-crazy, mutilate themselves, pluck out feathers like this one. It's all too much for many people. These are long-lived animals that are designed to live in flocks. The average person would like to have some alone time. The average parrot doesn't want it. Declining in natural habitats, flocks of parrots are multiplying here. 30,000 flying around cities from California to Brooklyn, set loose by frustrated owners. Growing even faster, parrot rescue centers now in every state, like this one at a Buddhist monastery in Maryland, full to overflowing. So many people realize they've taken on too much. And so we got a lot of requests, but um, sadly, we're not able to fulfill them. It's such a big problem, the Humane Society now recommends unwanted birds be euthanized as last resort. Mira Tweedy promised to take care of Zazu when some friends couldn't bear it any longer. Every day, at some point, I think to myself, I can't take it another minute. And every few minutes, someone else is buying another parrot. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles. That's the CBS Evening News for Katie Couric in Afghanistan. I'm Harry Smith in New York. I'll see you in the morning on The Early Show. Have a good night. CBS News is very good news.